Islam, one of the fastest growing religions making up nearly 2 billion people worldwide. In recent years, the rise of Islamophobia has affected millions of people in North America and the rest of the world. So we brought together a group of students in the McMaster University Muslim community and asked a series of questions pertaining to Islamophobia and their personal relationship with the religion. What Western media promotes is that we are an oppressive religion and I feel like that's very prominent. We see that in shows, we see that like, it's, it's very ironic because Islam was the first religion to give women rights when women were being so mistreated. But yet today, like when the hijab and everything is seen as a symbol of liberation, others seem to see it that we're being oppressed. And in my opinion, I feel like what people lack is depth and they lack an actual understanding of why we do things the way we do it. I think a big misconception is that it limits your freedom, which is quite the opposite. Um, it, you have to have real meaning uh, to really understand that the rules set in place actually set you free. Like express my Islamic identity and even when I started wearing the hijab like I felt a little bit of like sort of like that indirect passive discrimination from like other people. Um, I found that like you know my friends that came to like McMaster from my high school you know maybe saw me a little bit differently. I don't think the actual event of 9-11 affected them personally but the aftermath of like People changing their opinions to how Muslims are might have affected it, so that's why we moved to Canada. Because <laughs> it was getting difficult to live here. <laughs> so, so yeah, that, that strong belief um, is, is one of my favorite things about Islam because you always know that, that what's happening to you is happening for a reason. And uh, and things will always like pick up and get better from there. That um, whenever like you go meet a stranger, even if, maybe you've never seen them, you don't know anything about them. But once you find out each other are Muslim, there's just something changes. The, the dynamic just shifts, and it becomes a, much more of a comfort space, like a comfort zone. And just in that sense, I think uh, comfort um, is is one way of describing faith for me.